Why do lighter mice help gamers aim better? That is the question we are going to be answering today with some simple physics. I hope you guys do enjoy it, and if you want to hit that like button or leave me a comment down below, that is greatly appreciated. And let's get right into the video. All right, so first off, um, I'm gonna be testing out three different mice. I have my Steel Series Rival 600 at its basic no weight level, which is 96 grams, I believe. And then with eight four gram weights added, that is now gonna be 128 grams. And for the third mouse I'm gonna be trying out today, it's gonna be the Glorious Model O. And this mouse I recently bought, and I I love it. It is an amazing mouse, and no, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I just, it's a great mouse, and I would recommend you guys check it out, at least. So, there's a couple of reasons why such a light gaming mouse at 67 grams is going to be beneficial to gaming in general. Alright, so, in order to help explain this to you guys a little bit more, I'm going to give you some basic physics to work with. These are Newton's three laws of motion, which is every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it, which is inertia. And then the second one is the relationship between an object's mass, M, its acceleration, A, and the applied force, capital F, is F is equal to M multiplied by A, and that is acceleration. And for the third law, this is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And you might be asking yourself, well, as well, how do these laws apply to gaming and a mouse and how that actually affects how you aim? Well, heavier mice are harder to move because, well, they're heavier. <laughs> so they take more force, applied force, to move the mouse and to stop it from moving and move back the other way. So you can't hit those flicks as much. That's why most gamers with a heavier mouse end up wrist aiming so that they have more control over their movement from their wrist. But there is a downside to that. Arm aiming, see you got your whole arm, whereas wrist aiming, you only have your wrist. And right now I'm at, I used to be at 1200 CPI, which is basically the direct equivalent of DPI, just Steel Series version. <laughs> and now I'm actually gaming at 400 DPI, which feels very nice after probably about a week's worth of use. There's a reason why heavier mouse users tend to use their wrists more than they do their arms. It's because of the first two laws, inertia and acceleration. Inertia basically means that once you start moving your mouse, that mouse is going to want to stay going the same direction for as long as possible until you actually stop it or the ground, like the friction between your mouse and the mouse pad stops it. So if I just throw my mouse, it's going to glide a little bit, but because there is a little bit of friction between the mouse and the mouse pad, it is going to eventually stop. But if there was no friction, and if we were in space and the mouse just floated and I just tossed it, it probably would continue to go on forever and maybe even gain the speed. Who knows? The formula force F equals mass M multiplied by A acceleration is a really great way to help describe why a lighter mice works better than a heavier mouse. Basically, the mass, let's let's say, let's take 67 grams and excel, its acceleration, let's say I'm moving it at, let's say, 3 inches a second. So, what's 67 times 3? That would be 201. And basically, if we want to do the same thing with a heavier mouse, let's say 96 grams. So, 96 multiplied by 3 inches a second is now 288. That's 87 more than my Model O. Or, if we take 128, 128 times 3, that's now 384, which is a grand total of 183 more than the Model O. And a lot of models like the G502 or the G502 Pro Wireless or any of those heavier mice, that's why it's, I'd, 
I'm not sure this makes a whole lot of sense to you guys, but basically the lower you can get that number, it doesn't matter what the acceleration is. It just has to be the same for all the mice is equivalent to the force applied. So going back to the first law of inertia, so it's going to take our arm a little bit more time to stop that mouse and start moving it the other way than it would for a lighter mouse. You'll see that a lot of pro players end up using arm movement with really light mouse instead of heavier mouse with wrist movement. This is a big trend I've been seeing in recent FPS gamers or like Fortnite or any of those really competitive FPS games. Basically, the whole reason behind this is, as I explained earlier, you're able to flick harder and faster than you would if you're if you have a heavier mouse. And also, instead of having about, I would say, five to six inches of movement, now you have, if you have a big mouse pad, like two to three feet of movement. If you want to track people long range, that's amazing for tracking long range because it's so accurate. All you have to do is move your arm instead of just moving your wrist because moving your wrist is a little bit less accurate because you have a less range to move in, making it overall harder for you to hit your shots. That's kind of my reasoning behind this. I hope it made sense to you guys. If not, then... <laughs> go watch some other videos by some other people to help explain this idea to you guys but basically that's kind of the gist of this video i hope you guys did enjoy and if you again if you want to leave a like please do if you want to leave a comment down below giving me ideas or any thoughts around on the video then please do that as well and don't forget to leave subscribe too that's very much appreciated thank you so much guys <laughs> i'll see you later Peace.